<laughs> yeah. So MJ, if compound interest and like, you know, investing, saving for 40 years, isn't the secret to escaping the rat race. Can you tell us like what is and like maybe how you escape the rat race? Sure. It's leveraged entrepreneurship. Um, and, and with the internet today, um, you know, since the internet has been born, I don't know, what is it? 20, 25 years old or something more millionaires, multimillionaires and billionaires have been made because the internet has the fantastic ability uh, to create the mathematical structure to get rich fast. And I'm talking, when I say get rich fast, I'm talking two, five, 10 years. So you don't have to sit around and go to a job 40 years and save 10% of your paycheck and do all that BS that pretty much sacrifices your youthful life um, in exchange for some elderly retirement. Uh, so don't mistake that for, oh, you need to go start an internet business. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying the internet is a great channel to leverage the mathematics available to you where you can scale a business. Instead of serving three, four, five, ten 10 customers a day, you can serve 100 a day, 1,000 a day. This is what makes leveraged entrepreneurship the most effective way to create wealth uh, in today's culture. And, you know, I subscribe to a lot of um, business uh, for sale websites uh, where they, you know, people are selling their businesses and you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that's on there. It's like, oh, this was started two years ago and they want $4 million for it. This was started five years ago. They want $11 million for it. Okay. You're not going to build that kind of wealth anywhere in the stock market, even when the stock market's at all time highs right now, it, there's no comparison. So uh, in the great rat race escape, the book I just wrote, a common term I use uh, is called asymmetrical returns. And that's what leveraged entrepreneurship gives you the ability to do is to generate asymmetrical returns. I started my business with 900 bucks. And I turned it into a seven-figure empire. I did that actually twice. Okay, you're not going to get that anywhere. So that's asymmetrical return. So when you start a business, even if it's something that seems, I don't know, you know, obscure or, or obtuse, you can, you can turn that into some kind of powerful entity where you could sell it for asymmetrical returns or, or generate an income instead of making $5,000 a month. Uh, a, a, a month, you're making $50,000 a month, $100,000 a month. And that's the power of asymmetrical returns. Um, ultimately, wealth comes down to mathematics. And uh, compound interest is effective when time is removed from the equation, but we can't remove time. So that's why becoming an entrepreneur, specifically what I call fast lane entrepreneurship, is the best way to generate wealth quickly mm, right yeah it's, especially with the internet today is so much easier to so like start a business build a successful business and we see all the time today especially like on twitter it's like oh i just started my company i raised this much money or i sold it for this much money and just pretty crazy to see like how fast companies are able to grow today with the internet yeah and and that's not me saying oh you need to be a, you need to go to you know silicon valley and, and join the startup culture no 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 there are a lot of just millions of people uh, who have these empires that are just, you know, they have three, four employees and they're bringing in six figures a month profit. Uh, you know, I just had a friend over uh, this week and he spent the last week with me and I didn't see him working at all, but he's making six figures a month um, because he's set up a fast lane type of business that can generate this, these types of returns and give you some freedom too. So you're not always managing the business, um, you know. So that's that's what's available today. And instead, we have too many people just uh, they're just lost. They, you know, the, too too many authors and and gurus and coaches are just selling these fairy tales and fantasies of oh, you can follow your passion and and everything will just fall in line and you'll get rich and. Uh, you know, the marketplace chews them up and spits them out and reality is much different.